Today we're going to be playing Warzone Season 4 for the ITX 3080 and to start it off we're going to be playing the game at 1080p at Gold Settings. Going to Settings and the Graphics, here we are at the Ultra Settings. There we go. Uh, before we start, this is the 10 gigabyte variant of the 3080, not the 12. Already at the Ultra Settings we're sitting at 9.5 gigabytes of RAM usage. That is quite high. We'll see if we get any stutters. I think at extreme settings it uses up like 20 gigs. I think it's around 17 realistically, but it's quite high still, obviously. Okay, so we already have our loadouts. It's one kill. The game is feeling quite smooth. We're sitting at 130 to 140 FPS. Wow, they nerfed this thing, huh? Oh, hello. Whoa, what are you doing up here, bud? Yeah, it's definitely action packed. I'm liking it. More than the normal was an experience. I haven't got any armor though. Oh. See, you ask and you shall receive. Free armor usage is up, but the game is running fine. There's no stuttering, there's no lagging. It's a decent experience. 130 to 140 FPS again. I think ideally for this game, playing at ultra settings is kind of, I guess, overkill. I normally play at the low settings with some medium thrown in there as well to get the most FPS possible. This game is very CPU intensive, so if you've got a weaker CPU than this, your FPS obviously will be lower. And it will definitely show itself once you lower the settings to like lower medium as well. Since obviously at the ultra settings, it's definitely far more GPU intensive than it is CPU intensive. Oh, bad aim. Got him though. Woo. He's got a teammate. I don't know what my team is doing, but I'm just trying to survive, man. Okay, you got a sniper. I'm not about that. Someone's behind me. Run! Oh my god, dude, the whole squad's on me. I'm dead here. What is happening in this game? I'm dead. I tried though. I killed so many people. Man, this game looks fun. Let's enable FSR and see what we can get there. Again, I've said this before, but FSR 2.1 looks much better than DLSS in this game. I know in other games, if you have an RTX card, you want to go with DLSS, looks better. But in this game, FSR just looks much better. It's much more clear. I definitely prefer it much more than DLSS. Here we are with FSR at the quality preset. Wow. Are you serious? 120 FPS? There we go. Now it's catching up. 170 FPS almost. Overall quality of the game is mostly intact. A bit softer, obviously, but if you want to get extra FPS at the ultra settings, this is the way to do it. But I think ideally for a 3080, I would avoid using FSR or DLSS, just lower the quality of the game to have more FPS that way. Whoa! Okay, what was that about? I'm cheating. How did I kill all three there? But yeah, an extra 10 to 20 FPS increase with FSR. I would personally avoid this, but if you like the ultra settings, then obviously you can use it if you want. All right, next time I die, I'm gonna quit. Go up to the optimal settings and go from there. Got him. That screen share was pretty awful. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Whoa, hello. I'm dead here for sure. I guess I'm not. 10 kills. I got ammo. I got armor. Yeah, we're chilling. I'm gonna get the box style just in case. Got him too. I'm on a 15 kill streak. Wait, how am I on a 15 if I got 11 kills in total? That doesn't make much sense. Someone's up here. Hopefully he doesn't hear me running up. But I wouldn't be surprised if he does. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just blew me up? No. Okay, that's my teammate. <laughs> you scared me, dude. And here we are at the optimal settings. There we go there. All right, second game in with the optimal settings. As you guys can see, VRAM is already down to six gigs instead of 9.5. Hopefully at this point, we can get 150 to 160 with these settings. Okay, landing somewhere different. We are sitting at 160 FPS. But again, be careful with your CPU. If you've got a weaker one, your FPS will be far lower than this. With this CPU, I'm not getting bottlenecked for the most part, but still in some areas, the GPU usage will fall down into the low 80s even. Which kind of sucks. Get this guy, he's got a friend here, I think. I'm dead. 
Out of ammo. What so is he? <laughs> okay, let's go. But yeah, if you don't have a CPU bottleneck, like, you're gonna be sitting at 160 FPS, pretty much. So it's great. We gain like 30 FPS for these settings, but <laughs> unfortunately, I will still see 130 FPS occasionally with the CPU, which is kind of crazy, guys. This is a smaller map. At release, I was getting 160 FPS with a weaker CPU than this, so it's kind of wild. This should really be an issue at 1080p only. I think at 440p and 4K, a bottleneck should not be happening at all. Third game in at 440p ultra settings. Let's see what we can do. VRAM again is up to 9.3 gigs. I think it was at 9.5 before, but I'm sure we'll grow as we go. And again, FPS at the ultra settings at 1080p was 130 to 140 FPS. So, already down 30 FPS in the plane. We'll see as we go though. Where are we going, guys? Gonna fool you. We're going over here. Let's do it. Right there, get him, guys. Get him. The flaming shotgun is so, so, so cheese. I'm gonna land with purple. Hopefully, he knows what he's doing. How many enemies? Oof, got them both. Bad landing, but I recovered. Sitting at 100 to 120 FPS so far, but again, this place is quite easy to run, I guess. It's not too intensive. Let's go up top and look over the map. I'm sure the FPS will fall down to the 90s. I'm out of here. This is bad. Too many people. Wow, down into the 80s even. That is crazy. What is happening? Okay, stop shooting. There we go. Get this guy. So the game is stuttering a little bit here and there, but during gameplay, I think it was fine for the most part. Lowest FPS was around 77, and on average, we're sitting pretty much in the 90s up to the 100s. Okay, need to get a good spot away from the flaming shotguns. Wow, 70 FPS right now. 72, actually, to be exact. Someone's here. It's feeling quite a bit laggy right now, guys, but FPS-wise, it's fine. It gets like 70 to 120 FPS depending. Fourth game on at 440p at the optimal settings. Again, at Ultra, we were sitting at 70 FPS up to 120 FPS with some status in between as well. Okay, sitting at 120 FPS so far. Not bad. Indoors, we're sitting at 130 now. Put this down real quick. I'm dead here, aren't I? It's kind of crazy though. This game keeps getting worse and worse with each season, guys. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. The whole point of Warzone 2 was to have a fresh start and just have an optimized game. Because the first Warzone became a mess after like three games. This Warzone as well, going through the same thing. But it's happening in like four seasons instead of <laughs> like three different games. It's not too bad though. We gain like 20 FPS on average. Occasionally even 30 to 40 FPS depending on how heavy the scene is. GP is fully maxed out. VRAM is now sitting at 6.5 gigs as well. So I think for me, this is the way to play it. Oh, hello. Oh, that's my teammate. <laughs> okay. You just tricked me. Alright, that's a kill. We'll take that. Hello. There you are. Where are you going? I'm out of ammo. Alright, enemy. Kill him, enemy. How are your life still? Get out of here. I'm gone, though. I'm gone. Dude, that skin is so bad, man. He was blending into the background. Before we move on to 4K, we're going to try out FSR 2.1 as well. Using the balance preset. And at 440p still. There's a chance that we run into a bottleneck as well with the CPU, but we'll see as we go. We were sitting at 120 to 130 FPS beforehand, and now we're sitting at 150 to 160 FPS. Almost 170s even. What are you doing? The game looks fine. Still a bit soft versus native 1440p, but it's much improved versus 1080p FSR. Alright, for our final game, we're playing the game at 4K with the optimal settings. VRAM's already up to 7.5 gigs. PS is sitting in the 80s. So once we land, I'm guessing we're gonna be sitting probably in the 60s and 70s. Wow. This does feel quite laggy right now. 70 FPS though, I don't know. But if you practice and continue playing at 4K like this, then I'm sure you'll feel fine. I'm just not used to it. You're dead. <coughs> Someone's above us. Somebody is above us. I'm gonna throw this down. Bit to the left. Yeah, they are. I can see the sniper. What is he looking at? Oh, this is good. This is good. This is going to force him to come in. Okay. Whoa. There we go. I downed him. Where is he, though? The lowest FPS was in the 60s, and our highest was around 90 FPS, I believe. 
Wow. Dude, aiming is so much harder for me right now. But 4K means we can use FSR without any quality loss. Which should hopefully give us that 100 plus FPS experience that we're looking for. I'm gonna climb up. Might die here, but that's fine. We'll give me an excuse to use FSR instead. Easy. Okay, let's enable FSR. Gonna go with the performance mode. 116. Not bad. Yeah, the game feels much better right now. Far easier to aim. Feels far more responsive. Wait, hold on. Is this guy... Is he clueless? Yeah, the game looks fine for the most part. A bit softer, obviously. But yeah, it's definitely playable. If you like a sharper look, then obviously don't use performance mode. Use like balanced or quality instead. Your FPS will be lower, but it will give you a sharper image at 4K. Okay, I think that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time. Next video. See you guys there.